It's been about six months since I started my job as a penetration tester and today I thought I'd talk a little bit about my experience and what I've learned so far. So overall it's been a pretty productive six months. I have learned a lot during this time and I have recently knocked off the OSCP exam which has been a big relief and a weight off my shoulders. I've been trying to get that exam done for over a year so super happy to have finally ticked that one off and I can now move on to other certifications. So the first thing I want to talk about is the amount of certifications and knowledge that you need to constantly learn and churn through as you work on the job as a pen tester. Now cybersecurity is obviously a pretty new and evolving industry where there is a lot of new knowledge that you have to keep up with. So as a person new to this industry, um, I have to uh, sort of manage that uh, with the day-to-day -day of work. So obviously that is a lot of study after work as well. And you know, I'm the type of person when if I do get into something, I get really addicted and go really hard at it. So that's actually w what happened when I got hooked into uh, doing CTFs and try hack me, hack the box last year so that's why I decided to go for the OSCP and um, pursue this career in pen testing. But um, as a career that um, when you view it as a thing you have to do over a long period of time you really have to make things a bit more sustainable and that has been something that I have uh, tried to figure out during the past six months. Um, usually when I do hobbies in the past I pretty much just smash at it for like one year two years and then I eventually reach a point where I either burn out or I reach a level where I'm sort of like, yeah, I'm kind of like satisfied with my skill level of where I'm at with that particular hobby. And then I kind of just lose interest and then fall out of it and then move on to something else. For the past six months, I think I've reached the point where I have kind of started to see things a bit differently. Um, see things more long term because I do want to keep this going. It doesn't really matter if you uh, sort of go at it super hard and then if you fall off then it's pretty much uh, all for nothing right. So now uh, I have kind of figured that out I feel. Um, I'm studying in a way that doesn't burn me out. I am also participating in hobbies where it uh, helps me uh, for example, I have started training BJJ again, but I haven't been going as much as I did when I first started. Uh, pretty much in like a manner which they kind of complement each other because when I'm at work, I would be pretty much be sitting at a computer, um, stationary, not moving much, using a lot of your brain. And after work, uh, I can do something physical and really like um, train the body a bit more after work. So I think these two have um, really complemented each other uh, and I think I have a kind of now a come to the point where I have figured out a way to actually manage my life around everything and make the study and um, everything come together in a way that is uh, really going to be sustainable for me over the long haul. Um, I have a lot of plans uh, for uh, more certifications uh, coming up in the next year. So I am currently doing the CRTO which I have already gone through the course materials and that exam is going to be occurring in January, early January, just the week before I get back into the job again. Uh, currently I'm on the Christmas break. So before building up to the Christmas break, 
there was a lot of rush where people were trying to get their pen tests in. So the day to day of the job around that period was pretty much like one pen test after the other back to back. So it was pretty full on at that time. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good now. Um, I'm on the Christmas break. I'm not doing uh, too much study um, except for revising on the uh, CRTO exam in January. After that, I plan to do the Burp Suite Practitioner Cert, which I actually already bought the voucher for last month where they were only selling it for $10. So I got that purchased. Hopefully I'll work on that after the CRTO, which will really build out my web app pen testing methodology a bit more because I feel that is probably an area where I'm more weak on. Now talking about um, OSCP and um, all that, uh, doing the CTF practice before my pen testing job, that has actually been super helpful and I am surprised how well doing CTFs uh, like on Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, doing OSCP prep in general, how well that actually all translated to an actual pen testing job where I was pretty much able to uh, hit the ground running fairly quickly uh, when I started the job, which was kind of surprising, which it really speaks to how valuable and how good like the free training materials online these days actually is. Like I think Try Hack Me has only been around for a couple of years and Hack the Box a few years before that. So all this is really recent and look, if you want to get into pen testing, um, which you know this industry is kind of blowing up at the moment, everyone wants in. Uh, doing CTFs online, doing OSCP prep, super helpful, translates very well to uh, what you do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Which is why I guess uh, people who have the OSCP is pretty much almost guaranteed an interview and if you pass it then uh, you should be able to land an entry level pen testing job from that. So the only thing that um, I found uh, that was a bit lacking in my skill set when I first started was web app pen testing. But uh, even that, I think overall, it's been a pretty good transition. Uh, the knowledge that sort of built up over doing CTFs, that's still translated quite well to learning web app pen testing. and. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with my first six months. I definitely learned a lot during this time, but obviously still a long way to go. So during pen test, um, I get situations where I'm like, yeah, I generally know what's up. Like, yeah, um, I know my way around things quite well now, but then you still do run into situations where you kind of see something, uh, your coworker shows you something, and then you realize, yeah, you don't actually know shit. So there's still a lot of knowledge to cover. Um, the skill ceiling is a very high in this, this industry. So um, for me, keep uh, studying for those certifications, keep learning and absorbing things on the job. And I'm pretty looking forward to uh, what next year will bring. I pretty much already have a sort of plan, uh, my next couple of certifications. I kind of have a general idea where I want to go in that. And I'll be uh, posting updates to this channel on all of that. So if you are interested in that, uh, definitely uh, stay tuned. Yeah, you know, overall, um, day to day, it's it's a fun job, I'm pen testing. It feels like you're playing a game, honestly. Like for me, it still doesn't really feel like work like compared to the other jobs I've had in the past where it actually felt like work. Uh, this one, if you like doing CTFs, you like um, try hack me, that kind of stuff, then I reckon you really love doing pen testing as a day-to-day -day job. 
uh, because you, it translates very well uh, from doing CTFs to on the job and you're almost doing the exact same thing um, as you know on your day to day so for me I find it very enjoyable I've been hooked on this stuff ever since I found out that it was a thing that you can get paid for hacking into things at my company we have a great group of people as well really diverse group um, you've probably heard that cybersecurity is a really diverse industry where people get into this industry in all sorts of different ways and definitely I feel that is true at my current company really great uh, diverse a bunch of people you've got people that have pivoted their career from another industry like myself um, you've got people who have gone that traditional path of going to university getting the OSCP and then landing a pen testing job straight after that and then you've got the sort of OG hackers who have been in this industry for a very long time and some of them have had brushes with the law when they were teenagers um, hacking into things where they probably shouldn't have so great diverse group of people um, really interesting to get everyone's uh, knowledge and input into various uh, different types of issues that you may have uh, you may encounter during a pen test everyone's sort of got that um, unique perspective where they bring in their knowledge and background into the job so that's been really um, fun and interesting for me like I get the feel at my company we are pretty much always hiring like there is not enough pen testers that we can hire to do all the work that is coming in so if you want to get in this industry definitely it's a good time to do so there are a lot of opportunities out there if you actually do the prep for everything beforehand and you can demonstrate your knowledge and you're able to hit the ground running I mean honestly it's not that hard to be able to gain like the base level of knowledge where you're able to get in there and um, start on your on an actual pen testing gig like on my first uh, pen testing contract uh, that I did you know I it was an active directory a pen test and by the end of it I was pretty much I, I was kind of shocked like how easy it was to like perform active directory pen tests just based on like online random articles that you find like everything actually works and I feel like the skill level isn't that high it's not to say I'm like super good it's more saying that uh, companies really need a lot of help out there and there are a lot of companies who are in a position where if they were breached they would be a pretty they would be ransomware pretty badly essentially and it does feel like you are making an impact when you are able to uh, demonstrate something like this and uh, produce a report where the customer can actually action on it and improve their security posture so overall pretty awesome six months experience so far um, the work is fun I've been able to manage the studies okay I've figured out a system now um, that's probably like the main con if you will that you hear people mentioning if you want to get into cybersecurity there's constant learning that you have to do in your free time but if you're able to manage that it's really not that bad and it does keep things interesting um, for me yeah I do like to learn the new things and it's fun right so if you find it fun it's and you're able to manage the whole thing I wouldn't really call it a con so it really is up to you and this YouTube channel has been pretty good in keeping me motivated as well um, just to keep you guys updated on what new things or interesting techniques I've learned on the job um, the certifications that I'm going for um, so it's been pretty good uh, motivating me to 
uh, keep on track. So thank you guys for um, subscribing to the channel. Um, the OSCP prep video has been really popular that I put out a few weeks ago after I passed my OSCP exam. Um, now that the exam has updated with Active Directory, I might put out some content on Active Directory training um, just to help you guys to get into that. I did post a video on the various uh, Active Directory uh, training material that is out there to prepare you for the OSCP, but I actually, um, watching, looking back at that video, I've missed a couple of uh, resources on Try Hack Me that was actually free. So I might do some videos on that uh, coming up. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what sort of content you guys would like to see. I would really like to help you guys get into this industry. If you have any questions um, about this uh, pen testing, about cybersecurity, anything like that, I'm happy to help you guys out. Just leave a question in the uh, comments down below. Um, it is the Christmas break at the moment. I've essentially got the next two weeks off and then I'm starting again January the 10th. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Enjoy your holidays and I will catch you in the next one.